Hello, greetings, my sheeples. Hello, Americans. This is Flo Landers of Holler at you. I'm going to show you how a granny makes her fudge today, but I'm a having to use my doggone cell phone there, so we'll just be a doing this in the spurts, but uh, we'll get her done. We'll be right back with some more videos for you. Well, the first thing you do now here, you start off with you one and a half sticks of that there butter and then you measure you like a three cups of sugar and you put that in there in the saucer pan let me see if i can twist this around here to show you what well, first thing you do now here you start off with you one and a half sticks of that there butter and then you measure you like a three cups of sugar and you put that in there in the saucer pan let me see if i can twist this around here to show you what well, first thing see that there and then you start it off there on that there medium heat okay now next you need to go over here in this here measuring cup and measure you about five ounces of cream and then you mix that in there with that and now you're just going to have to let this stuff here uh, melt all together and i know it looks uh, kind of hard but it'll all eventually come together and you just to mix uh, all this together with the sugar a stick and a half of butter and out there are five ounces of a cream. And now when all this melts together, you got to let it come to a full boil. Now we'll come back at you when it starts coming to a full boil so we can show you how that does. See that there? Now we just thought we'd come back here and show you, you know, during the process of how this stuff, it just really comes into a lock of dirt out there. Creamy mixture. So you see you have a stick and a half of butter and a three cups of granulated sugar and five ounces of a cream are mixed in here and you let that all you know get into a creamy substance and you'll see here in just a minute what else we have to do now it's part there this is a slow process of peoples but it's a coming on in right there to a creamy mixture and all and uh, when it gets over medium heat you know all melted up in the stuff and then that's when the other worker comes in, but we'll show you here right here in just a minute. Now you kind of see right here how it's becoming all creamy and stuff. Oh, we still got a little bit of butter in there still yet there to smell. But you know, it looks like it ain't ever going to cream, but it will. It'll just all cream up here and start a boiling shortly. So, uh... Will you come right back at you when all this stuff is just to get some... All right, I'm a just a checking with you. See if you's a still a with a granny here. It'll start a boiling here in a right second or two. You just hang on in there. It'll get better. All right. Now, you see here, it's a starting to boil. Now, you have to keep on stirring it the whole time that, till it comes to a full, rapid boil. And you know, this time seems kind of long, but you can just sing you a few little old songs there, you know, like, Here I am, stirred my pudding, when you gonna turn into a rapid boil? And all that kind of stuff, but you know, it has started boiling here, for it ain't never turned near no time. Now you see, okay, now you see here where it's a starting to come to our rapid boil that we need it to do. Now we need it to get to that rapid boil, which is probably here in just a few little old seconds. See how that stuff's just coming out all nice and consistent. Now we've started our rapid boil here. It is 329. That means we got to sit here and stir this constantly for four minutes. So at 29, 30, at 3, uh, 33, which will be our four minutes, we will have our consistency, and we'll need to take it off the eye, and we'll be right back when we come back to do that. So you see how that's a bubbling? Now don't worry, now it's just supposed to do that, and it will not a boil over. Now we still on our four minutes. We got three more minutes to go, so you just keep on stirring. So I hope and use a steal with me, see there? Now that just comes up here right nicely. And it's just amazing how that stuff just does not go over the sides of the pan there. 
Well, you know, while we's still sitting here and jawing and stirring, you know, you ladies, if you just to make up this stuff right here and give it to the fellers, why, you just own that man. They really love this stuff. Ain't nobody that don't love fudge. And when it's made with your own special hand from Granny's Recipe here, you just can't lose. And even if, even if you are girls who want you girls or you boys who want you boys, just stir up you some old granny mix here and you just to have them eating out their hands and slapping their lips and all that and stuff. All right, we got one minute left here and then we're going to show you the rest of it. All right, now we're ready to take it off the aisle here. Now here comes the part where you got to do all this stuff. And you need about 18 ounces of chocolate. And... I buy these little old packets of semi-sweet chocolate morsels and these chocolate chips or rather. All right, and, and that would take about a bag and a half of them and you just uh, sit them in your mixture there and let that melt in there good. And now you're going to need some of this jet puffed uh, marshmallow stuff here too. Now it's going to take the whole thing there of that there seven ounces or you can buy you a big one and you use half of it you know and then make you another batch and use the other half now here we go stirring our chocolate morsels in here there we go now i'm gonna have to sit this down while i put the marshmallows in a granny cane i hold the camera on top of that because this stuff is all right now we ready all right now you see we got our marshmallow and the rest of our whole bag of chips are mixing in here and this is kind of messy and you're supposed to stir it very vigorously and get all this stuff mixed up now i'll come back and show you what it's supposed to look like before we get it done here all right now you can see here we still are mixing i tried to see this stupid camera down where you could uh, watch me mix it the whole time but it just fell straight into the sugar ain't that something else all right, now you see how this is all mixed up after you vigorously stir all that. Now your morsels and your marshmallow and stuff. And now we got to add... Oh, and the granny forgot to tell you, you're going to need a maybe a 9 by 11 pan there, you know, and just cover that in aluminum foil. And then you'll just uh, pour your batter in there. And it's not really a batter. You just pour your fudge in there, you know, and spread it out, I'll show you. Oh, and the granny forgot to tell you, you're going to need a, maybe, now, here we go, you just, you know, kind of shape it out in your pan of here. Now, it's still kind of hot. And granny usually lets it cool down. Here we go. We got it all spread out in the pan now. And we just uh, let that cool down. Now, when granny's done and made one batch, and I'll just to show you. What we what you do from this point on. Now well, here is my batch that I made earlier and it has a cooled down. So we we'll just uh, take it and we'll put it in the refrigerator and that takes about oh four hours or so to cool down. And then you just cut it into little squares. Now well, here is my batch that I made. Alright, my little sheeples. Before you begin to make this a fudge, first of all you're gonna need eighteen ounces of chocolate morsels. Five ounces of cream. Now they sell those in those little cans. Or you can uh, just measure five ounces out of there. And a three cups of sugar and one little seven ounces of whipped cream. Not a cream, whipped marshmallows. My goodness heavens to Betsy. Granny will put the ingredients on the YouTuber there. And please let me know how you went enjoyed it. And if you got to your feller with it and all that. Just a Post down there, please. And subscribe to me, too. Thank you. This is Flo Anderson. Have a beautiful day. All right. <laughs>